Have you ever played a game so much that it starts invading your dreams? Welcome to the Tetris Effect. This fascinating phenomenon is named after the addictive video game Tetris, where players endlessly maneuver falling blocks to fit together. The game's immersive nature leads to a curious after effect. It starts to pattern our thoughts and dreams. Imagine seeing the world through a Tetris lens, visualizing how shapes around you might fit together or mentally rotating objects to make them align. This isn't limited to Tetris, of course. Any activity, if done repetitively, can seep into our subconscious, influencing our thoughts, mental images, and even our dreams. It's a testament to how our brains can be shaped by our experiences, particularly those that are immersive or repetitive. So next time you start dreaming of blocks falling into place, remember it's just your brain showing signs of the Tetris effect. Ever felt dizzy or started hallucinating because a place didn't meet your expectations? No? Then you haven't experienced the Paris syndrome. This bizarre phenomenon is a severe form of culture shock that some tourists, particularly those from Japan, encounter when the reality of Paris falls short of their idealized vision. The city of lights, with its rich history and romantic allure, can sometimes be overwhelming. Imagine the shock when the city's romantic charm fails to align with the gritty reality of urban life. It's not just disappointment we're talking about here. This syndrome manifests physically with symptoms such as dizziness, sweating, rapid heartbeat, and in severe cases, even hallucinations. It's as if the city itself casts a spell, causing a psychological and physiological response that can leave the unsuspecting tourist in a state of distress. Quite an unexpected trip, isn't it? Imagine waking up one day and thinking your loved one is an imposter. Welcome to the world of Capgra delusion. This isn't a plotline from a sci-fi movie, but a real and rare disorder that messes up our perception of familiarity. People with Capgra delusion genuinely believe that someone close to them, even their pet, has been replaced by an identical-looking imposter. Scientists link this strange phenomenon to brain injuries or certain psychiatric conditions, such as schizophrenia. It's a stark reminder of how complex and fragile our brain's recognition system is. Imagine an injury or illness can lead us to mistrust the very people we've known and loved for years. It's less about vision and more about emotional connection. The eyes see the loved one, but the brain doesn't feel the warmth of recognition. A chilling reminder of how our brain can play tricks on us. Ever heard of people suddenly speaking in a foreign accent? That's foreign accent syndrome for you. It's one of those oddities that could easily be mistaken for a prank or an affectation, but it's a genuine neurological condition. Imagine waking up one day and finding yourself speaking your native language with a completely different accent, say French or Italian, without ever having visited these countries. It's as bewildering as it sounds. This unusual condition often follows a stroke or head trauma, which leads to a subtle shift in the way the brain processes speech. It's not that the person's vocabulary or grammar changes, but the rhythm, pitch, and tongue placement within the mouth while speaking gets altered, so they sound foreign to their own ears and to those around them. In the world of bizarre behaviors, accents can indeed be deceiving. Ever felt like you're in a Lewis Carroll tale with everything around you seeming larger or smaller than it is? That's Alice in Wonderland syndrome. This fascinating condition distorts one's perception of size and distance, making objects appear either gigantic or minuscule. Imagine, if you will, a world where the coffee cup on your table seems as large as a bathtub, or your car appears no bigger than a toy. It's like living in a fantasy, but it's a real, scientifically recognized condition. Alice in Wonderland syndrome is typically experienced by children and can be associated with migraines or brain tumors. But don't be too alarmed. It's generally not harmful and most kids grow out of it. Still, it's a captivating example of just how powerful and intricate our brains really are, capable of creating entire worlds that defy reality. A neurological wonderland, indeed. Imagine hearing loud, imagined noises while falling asleep or waking up. No, it's not a nightmare. It's the exploding head syndrome. This bizarre behavior is a sensory sleep disorder, and despite its dramatic name, it's harmless. It's as if your brain decides to put on a firework show, just as you're drifting off to dreamland or coming back from it. The sounds can vary from person to person, but they're typically brief and intense, like a gunshot, a bomb explosion, or a loud crash. Interestingly, these sounds are not associated with any pain, but they can be quite alarming, causing distress, fear, and even insomnia. It's still unclear why this happens, but factors like stress and extreme fatigue seem to play a role. So the next time you're jolted awake by a phantom bang, remember, it's just your brain playing tricks on you. Sleep has never been this loud, has it? 
ever acted out your dreams while asleep? That's the running man syndrome for you. Now, picture this. You're deep in the realm of sleep, but instead of the usual paralysis that keeps you still, you're up and about living your dreams in the physical world. This is a curious sleep disorder known as the running man syndrome. It's like sleepwalking, but with more theatrics. You might find yourself running, jumping, or even engaging in complex activities, all while being sound asleep. It's a fascinating yet puzzling phenomenon, a testament to the power of dreams and the mysteries of the human mind. Just imagine, one minute you're dreaming about running a marathon, and the next, you're actually sprinting in your sleep. It's a fine line between dreams and reality, blurred by the intriguing workings of our brain. Sleepwalking has got nothing on this, right? Ever remembered something differently than how it occurred? Welcome to the Mandela Effect. This intriguing phenomenon is a collective misremembering of events or details by a large group of people. It's named after the late Nelson Mandela, as many people falsely recall him dying in prison during the 1980s. But here's the catch. Mandela was released in 1990 and lived until 2013. Now, how can so many people remember the same incorrect detail? Some attribute it to the fallibility of human memory, while others venture into the realms of parallel universes and alternate realities. The Mandela Effect is a captivating example of how our memories, as solid and reliable as they seem, can sometimes play tricks on us. Whether it's a glitch in the matrix or simply a testament to our imperfect recall, it's a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of the human mind. Our memories can indeed be a tricky business. Ever found patterns in random events? That's the clustering illusion at play. This intriguing phenomenon is all about our mind's relentless pursuit of order in a world that often presents us with randomness. Think of that time you played the lottery. Did you have lucky numbers? Or perhaps you've noticed shapes in the clouds or faces in objects where there really aren't any. This tendency to perceive clusters or patterns where none exist is a testament to the human brain's incredible capacity for pattern recognition. It's a survival mechanism that's been with us since our early days, helping our ancestors recognize the signs of predators or find food. However, in the modern world, this penchant for pattern recognition can lead us astray. As we may see trends and correlations in stock market data, sports outcomes, or even gambling results where none actually exist. Our brains do love a good pattern, don't they? Ever felt like time stood still? That's chronostasis for you. This bizarre perceptional anomaly, also known as the stopped clock illusion, occurs when our gaze shifts rapidly from one point to another, like when we glance at a clock. In that split second, it appears as though the second hand freezes in place, creating this eerie illusion of time standing still. But what's really happening here? Well, it's all down to our brain's remarkable ability to fill in the visual gap as our eyes make that swift shift. This is a protective mechanism that keeps our vision from blurring during rapid eye movements. So while it may feel like you've momentarily tapped into some superhuman ability to pause time, it's just your brain doing its job, ensuring you have a seamless visual experience. So time isn't actually standing still, but it sure feels like it. So there you have it, 10 of the most bizarre human behaviors. We've delved into the Tetris effect, showing how our minds can be shaped by immersive experiences. We've seen the Paris syndrome and how idealized expectations can lead to a shocking reality. We've explored the spooky Capgra delusion, where loved ones are seen as imposters. We've also encountered the puzzling foreign accent syndrome and the perceptually distorted world of Alice in Wonderland syndrome. We've heard the startling yet harmless exploding head syndrome and witnessed the adventures of the running man syndrome. We've discussed the Mandela effect where collective memory deviates from reality and the clustering illusion that shows our brain's quest for patterns. Finally, we've experienced the stopped clock illusion of chronostasis. The human mind is indeed a fascinating place, full of wonders and oddities. Until next time, keep exploring.